everyone and welcome to my channel. Now I have a very special video for you today. As you can see, I am in my Grinch pajamas. Now my family has a little tradition that every year on Thanksgiving, after we eat our meal, we gather around and we watch The Grinch. <laughs> so I am super excited to share with you three Grinchy recipes. So get ready. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I am not Grinchy. I am jolly, but I love the Grinch because his heart grows three times bigger. So if you have a big heart, please subscribe to my channel and help me to grow this channel because I am sharing delicious recipes each and every week. And if you hit the notification bell, then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. And I have lots of delicious Christmas recipes coming out. So I'm excited about that. So let me show you just how to make these Grinchy recipes. So for Grinchy recipe number one, we have Who Hash. Who eats Who Hash? The Who's. From Whoville eats Who Hash. It's a staple for the Who's in Whoville. So let me show you these ingredients and just what you'll need to make your who hash. So here is what you will need for your who hash. You will need cooked potatoes that have been chopped up. Now I use the golden potatoes. I cooked them last night, put them in my refrigerator, and this morning I just cut them in cubes. And then you will need a green and red pepper, and this equals about a cup, about a cup of diced onion, and then I am using I'm using some corned beef and I have just cut it in cubes, but you can literally use whatever meat that you want, whether it's sausage or diced ham, you could use kielbasa, even leftover turkey. And you will need butter, salt and pepper, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So to a hot skillet, I'm placing a half a stick of butter so once your butter is melted, I'm just going to add my peppers. And my onions. Stirring them around, letting them cook for just a few minutes. Okay, so once your peppers and onions have been cooking and your onions begin to get a little translucent, then I'm going to add my potatoes. And this is right around a pound of the Yukon Gold potatoes. And I'm going to also add my roast beast, which is my corned beef. Stirring all this around. Then I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. It really doesn't take a whole lot because there's quite a bit of salt in that meat and then some cracked black pepper. I'm going to add just a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, maybe about a tablespoon of Worcestershire. So I'm gonna spread this out and then I'm gonna allow it to cook until it gets nice and crispy on the one side. just rinse out and cleaned out and I'm gonna put the who hash inside the can. Isn't that cute? Okay, so I'm going to get ready and I'm going to fill my cans with the who hash. Well, where did these labels come from? <laughs> but those are pretty cute. The Who Hash labels. Okay, well, I'm gonna use these cans and I'm gonna begin to fill, the, fill them, so let me show you. So 
So for recipe number two, we have the Grinchy Crinkle Cookies. Oh, they are so good. And it just takes a few ingredients. I forgot the most important ingredient. Hold on just a second. ingredient you will need a cake mix so let me show you exactly what you will need so you will need a cake mix two eggs a stick of butter powdered sugar green food coloring and then I found these um, Wilton candy melts in a bag I'm gonna try that this time because I'm gonna make little hearts with them but if you find little candy hearts that would be good um, anything that you can put up make a little heart but I'm gonna use this today so to a bowl I have melted the butter and then I'm just going to add my cake mix and two eggs and then I'm just gonna beat this together and now I'm going to add my green food coloring did you just hear my oven beep and I'm gonna put a lot because I want these to be very green. There we go. All right, I'm switching to a, um, a spatula here. These are Grinchy cookies, Grinchy crinkle cookies. So I have placed some plastic wrap over my bowl and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so that I can make my little red hearts that go on the cookie. Okay, so this little candy melt, I just followed the recipe. It said to microwave um, 30 second intervals until it's all melted and kind of knead the bag. So I'm gonna give this a go. I'm gonna trim off the corner, just a tiny little corner because I want to make a heart. So let me show you how I do that. And I'm just gonna see if I can do this here. I'm gonna try to squeeze and make a little heart. I think I may switch and put this in a little baggie because I think I can have a little tinier hole. Let's see if this is any better. Yeah, it's a little bit better. So I'm just gonna make these hearts. Okay, so I finished my hearts and they started to grow larger. Imagine that, it is the Grinch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cookie batter and since it's been in the fridge, it's kind of set up a little bit nice. I'm using a cookie scoop, dropping it in some powdered sugar, and then I'm just going to roll it around, make little balls, and place it on my cookie sheet that is lined with parchment paper. Okay, so I have got all my cookies rolled out and placed on my sheet trays and now I'm going to bake them in a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. They're going to be so good. <laughs> Do y'all see a tree in my kitchen? What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna bake these. Oh, the cookies are done, so let me pull them out of the oven. Oh. Check out these Grinchy Crinkle cookies. So good. Okay, so now I'm going to just put them onto a cooling rack and then I'm gonna place the hearts on them. They're gonna be so cute and good. And so what I'm going to do is while they're still hot, I'm gonna place a candy heart on each cookie. How cute is that? 
Oh, these cookies are adorable. I just love them. I, I need to find a cute little cookie platter to put my cookies on. So let me look for one. there must be a who in my house and finally for the recipe number three is for a Grinchy peppermint hot cocoa so delicious let me show you exactly what you will need okay so I am actually doubling this recipe so I'm using four cups of milk and then I have two 4.4 ounce um, bars of white chocolate Candy canes for garnish. I've got different colored sprinkles here. I've got peppermint extract that you will need and green food coloring. And then of course you will need some whipped cream and your mugs. Okay, so you want to add your milk to a medium size uh, pot. And then I chopped up my white chocolate. So I'm gonna add that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my green food coloring. A good amount. It's got to be green. Actually, I think I'm going to add a little bit more. We want green, green. Mm -hmm. Just stir it until this melts. Okay, so once your chocolate is melted, then I'm going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of peppermint extract because peppermint extract can be very, very strong. So I'm just adding a fourth of a teaspoon. Okay, so once you add the peppermint extract to your hot cocoa, then you're going to pour it into the mugs. <laughs> Do you see my tree? It's decorated. Who is here? There's a who here. There is a who in this house, in this kitchen. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this delicious hot cocoa in these mugs. Okay, these are my Grinchy recipes. I've got my who hash, because who's like who hash, and then my crinkle cookies and then this hot cocoa peppermint hot cocoa and I'm gonna have a drink oh delicious thank you all so much for watching and don't be grinchy don't be grinchy this Christmas be jolly and subscribe to my channel but I will see you soon with more recipes